Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So in, in last episode I, I spoke about lightning record form, right, which is pretty simple form uh, you can use to create it. The lightning record form can also be used to create and update the record as well, right? Uh, there is something else. Uh, we have something called lightning uh, record edit form, okay? So let me show you something, okay? Uh, on the screen what we have, we got a the create contact. It is using lightning record form and the edit contact is using uh, lightning record edit form, right? So let me say, I will say Pete. Uh, okay, I will say Pete Muller. Obviously, I'll just say save. And this will, you know, this is, okay. So now I've created a contact, right? Now, and this is the edit contact, which is using a uh, lightning record edit form. And I've passed the ID behind the scene. So when you wanted to edit both the forms, right, you will see a difference, right? Let's say I wanted to edit this one, right, which is using lightning record form. And you will get something. And when you see an edit contact, you will see a different user interface. But that's not the difference, though, right, because it will be silly for me to say, hey, both looks different, right? Obviously, yeah, it looks different, but the why you should be using um, Lightning Record Edit Form, right? Because when Lightning uh, Record Form can pretty much do the similar job like Lightning uh, Record Edit Form, right? Because it can edit. Okay, so the, here is the thing. The Lightning Record Form, right? It does not offer the, uh, the record locking feature. And uh, because um, in Lightning Record Edit Form, what happens is, right, when you open a record, right it is locked to prevent other user from editing it that functionality is not there uh, in lightning uh, record form okay so what that will do is that if you know that right the record locking actually avoids record conflicts and data inconsistency because you last thing you want is is to have a data integrity issues right um, and also the one of the advantage about using Lightning Record Edit Form is that uh, it offers automatic record loading, which, as you can see, that which um, uh, Lightning Record Form do not offer. So, so yeah. Um, also, you have to understand that Lightning Record Form does not have a built-in uh, error handling and validation features so you might have to you know implement your own uh, JavaScript code to achieve it uh, whereas if you look at the lightning record edit form it provides you know error handling and validation features such as highlighting invalid fields and displaying error messages kind of stuff so yeah that's one of the the core thing right I mean I know that it's not really very much to delve into but you know, like I said, right, this will be handy when you are building an LWC component and that LWC component is used elsewhere, right? Otherwise, you know, there's no point in building, uh, you know, custom uh, lighting component. If you might as well use existing, you know, contact creation, right? But this is just for the sake of completeness, I want to demonstrate if you ever get a scenario where you wanted to build, you know, object creation or object edit, so which one you go for, right? So I, I, as I explained to you the differences, right? So, you know, it's a case by case, right? Uh, obviously, Lightning Record Edit Form provides more granularity in, in terms of the custom layout, which the Lightning, uh, uh, normal Lightning Form don't offer. So as far as the code is concerned, right? I'll, I'll walk you through code in a second. Uh, so if you look at the edit contact, this is the where, place where I've used the lighting record edit form. Not much difference compared to the other code. So just passing an ID because obviously it's going to do the edit, right? Um, and yeah, and then just passing uh, first name and last name. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And then, you know, this is the JavaScript code. Just I hard-coded the record ID. I mean, it's not really a great option. It's not a good option um, either way. So... I mean, it's obviously it's used, right, when you have a component and that component is receiving an input in the form of record ID or if you have a component which is um, which acts, which sits uh, on another component as a child component, um, then, you know, you can do a lot of stuff. So, yeah, 
this is one of the functionality I wanted to, and then we're going to talk about the delete option, right? After that, we're done with this a tiny little bit of stuff on here. Then we can look into more, you know, the data security style uh, on LDPC, which is very important in my opinion. But like I said, I wanted to cover this for the sake of completeness, right? Because it is a part of LWC and I expect you guys to know. So that being said, you guys have an amazing um, Wednesday. Adios.